y'all. I want to share some information regarding um, positioning for extremities, especially your wrists or your hands, forearms and whatnot. Um, so it's going to be a little different because we don't have the tube and the table, but just try to understand the concept. So just a little brief overview of um, medical terminology positioning. Um, we have supine, which is facing up. So I always think of like the soup, like you, you're you drinking soup from a bowl. So in order for you to hold the soup, it's gonna be up like this. So your hand will be up, supinated, supine. So facing up is a soup. Prone is the reverse, the opposite. So prone is facing down. So if your hands prone is facing this way, palms down, palms up, soup is supine. Okay, all right. So those are the two things just to kind of remember. And of course, there's um, lateral, which is outside, and medial, which is inside towards the middle medial lateral laterally outside uh, um and what else okay so there's also a position called the superman position meaning like superman's like this um you normally have a patient if you have a hand scan okay um let me think Try to get stuff that you have around your room. Um, this is not gonna work, and you shouldn't have this in your room anyways, because I have a zipper, but just pretend that this is like a sponge or a cushion. So you can have your patient pretend this is a CT table. I always like to demonstrate before um, the patient goes onto the table because you have to think the patient, this is probably the patient's first time um, positioning for like a wrist or a hand so they're not going to know what a superman position is but if you explain to them have like a towel or something hold on i'm at a hotel so hold on okay so let's say you have towels in your room you i don't want to just have the sheet down already and if there's a towel there just kind of like fold it and have that position because you know when your hand goes on it it's already there i like to elevate my stuff just a little bit if you have the cushion if not it's fine just have it flat let's just say we don't have it so i tell the patient let's say it's their left left wrist that's in pain just be like um this is a section and i put it towards like the tube just pretend like this it's the gantry is right here and this is the table so this is toward the head holder um, I'll just tell them hey your wrist or your hand is gonna go on top of this towel and that towel should be in that red line that comes through the gantry centered not to the side but centered so there's reference points and the, that red line is going to continue on to your anatomy. So with a hand and wrist, it's normally best to have it prone. So palms facing down. And just have a seat here and tell them that you want the elbow to kind of like hit the table. And of course the table is going to go up, so their feet is going to be dangling. So sometimes it's best to just have them lay on the table. And if it's the left side, have them have them lay as close as they can to the right side of the table, and vice versa. If it's their right hand or wrist, have them lay as close as they can to the left side of the table. And then, of course, don't have any jewelry on or anything like that. And then, um, elbows down as much as they can. And then, sometimes it's good to have a pillow because some of them are old and they can't hold the position so what's nice is if you have a pillow grab the pillow 
put it under them, like their chest area, and then they're gonna go like this, and then reach out. And then you can move this up or down or just have the patient move lower so that they're in that super men position. Once you bring them in, make sure that the line's crossing here and the other line is crossing here. So everything needs to be iso-centered. So, and then don't hit their head. Watch their head when they're, you're moving them into the gantry. So if they put their head down like this, it should be far enough where their head don't hit because it should be enough room. And every machine is different from where you zero. So some machines, they zero at the joint space. So remember to always look at your anatomical positioning on your scanner after you zero out your machine. Because sometimes it's joint space. Sometimes you start from the top, sometimes you start from the bottom. It depends on where you zero. I hope you're following. Okay, so going back to the wrist and the hand. And by the way, one of my pet peeves about doctors ordering um, scans is when they order a hand and a wrist separately. Oh, that irks me. Or a foot and an ankle separately. Oh, it's so much work. Especially if you have to like manually do it and your machine doesn't do it. If you have like a Toshiba scan and you can select two accession numbers, it's so easy. But a lot of machines don't and you have to have two accession numbers and it's just a lot of work. So if there's any doctors or any ordering like nurse practitioner or pharmacist, or not pharmacist, uh, physician assistant watching this, the hand includes the wrist, so you don't need to order it separately. And then the foot includes the ankle, so you don't need to order it separately. I think it's different for MRI. So um, I get why, but for CT, it's together. <laughs> or just um, ask for like recons of that space in the foot scan or the hand scan. Okay, so moving forward, let's say you have a forearm. So in the forearm, you have two bones. It's your radial bone and your ulna bone. The radial bone comes down from the thumb. So you think thumb, radius, ulna, wait. Now I'm confusing myself. Yeah, your radius is your thumb and then your ulna. So when you have it straight, like as an x-ray, um, it's normally supine. You want the elbows to be down like that. Um, okay. Oh, there's so much to talk about. Um, Cause there's other ways to do the wrist too. Cause some people can't do this position. <laughs> I'm backtracking. Okay, some people can't do this position. So another way is to have them like lay. I am backtracking, okay? So lay in the back and then bring their hand back here. And if you have like a cushion here, just scan it this way. So it's actually gonna be scanned like this. And then you'll just have to reconstruct it and scan it like this way instead of this way. I hope that makes sense. Okay, going back to the forearm. The forearm, when you have it prone, um, when it's prone, the the bones, instead of it being parallel, it's gonna be crisscross. So it's gonna cross each other, and then that way, the, it, um, you can't, you don't want it to crisscross. So what you do is you actually scan um, the forearm as a supine and of course there's always exceptions because some people um, can't bring their arms up because their shoulder hurts so instead what you do is you just scan it down on their side and you don't want to do that to scan it on their side let's say it's their right right humerus right if it's the right humerus and they can't bring their shoulder up, you just leave it down by your other side. Try to bring the other arm up because if you have both down, they're shooting more anatomy, right? It's gonna be more, it's gonna use more technique, more mass to shoot through this to get through here. So what helps is bringing the other arm up, 
scoot them as much as you can to the opposite side and then just scan through and collimate when you can and adjust. So moral of the story is hand, wrist, you want it prone, um, forearm, humerus, you want it supine, mainly the forearm supine. If you can bring it up, bring it up. If you have to bring it down, bring it down. Elbows, you want to try to do this. I like to have it up above so you're not scanning through the stomach or the chest. So elbows will go like this and then scan it. But if you have to have it down, then have like this. Put some towels or something under to help them hold it if they need it. Um, so yeah, there's so much, but that's just a brief overview of the extremity. Um, hope you got some tips and information from it. Uh, there's a lot more to learn. And if you have any questions, please leave it. I will try to get to the questions as best as I can, as soon as I can. Um, it's tough making these videos and especially the videos that don't have the machine in front of in front of me um so um yes thank you okay bye